Hello everyone. So today I was looking at this question on the community about uh, automation, automation rules and uh, automation rules or in fact automation in general is my favorite area. Now this question is all about uh, updating the fields using the advanced field option. Now we all are familiar with uh, the option to edit an issue using uh, the edit edit issue action uh, which you have in automation I'll, I'll show you very quickly but not all the fields are available when you want to edit the issue and uh, and if you don't have the option to if you don't find your field in the uh, drop down uh, which is there in the screenshot as well you can use the additional field now the question is that the question from uh, this user is all about how to use this particular additional fields option and uh, the answer is very simple you have to basically use json and let me show you let me show you uh, maybe one of the rule where uh, I can hopefully, hopefully I can show you. I'm, I'm, I have like a lot of rules and I should be able to maybe quickly show you one of the rule where uh, I can definitely talk about uh, how to use additional fields. Now the thing is that, uh, let me just search for the rule and I'll probably reduce the size of the window so that you can see my screen properly so additional or maybe json let me try to search for it edit um no okay let me just uh, look at one of the example on my website and uh, hopefully it, it will be clear so i'll go to my mastering jira cloud uh, automation and uh, control F, JSON, and uh, yep, I know what to do. So what we can do is uh, we can take a look at this example where I am basically using uh, the cascading. Can I use this rule? So this particular uh, example, se select list to subtask using uh, JSON. Okay. Let me just search for this. Cascading version 2. I guess I should have something here. Yeah, I think this, this is something that uh, can work, I guess. Maybe not. Let me just uh, look for this example. I'm basically trying to look for an example where I have uh, the JSON in working format. And... Uh, select list okay I think this should okay this is perfect okay so if you look at this example what is happening here is I mean we are doing something in the rule but the main thing that I wanted to show you is the edit issue option and uh, when you are doing something with automation let us say you want to set the field you can use edit issue here and you have a lot of options here to to basically select these fields for example if you want to update the due date you can select due date here and uh, you can actually use a date which can be picked up from uh, let us say the smart value maybe you want to set the due date based on the issue creation or maybe five days from now i mean using this example so this is of course one option but not all the fields are uh, available for you to select here in the drop down and uh, the good thing is that in the automation rule there is one option here to use the additional fields so if you look at the additional fields here you can actually pass in the json now this is of course this can be confusing because not everyone is aware of how to do it so you can interact with jira using jira rest api and uh, if you're working on uh, jira uh, you can of course take on t take a look. I, I mean, if you want to work on w work on something where it involves uh, doing programmatically some updates to Jira, you can do it using REST API. And uh, the good thing is that the Jira REST API documentation is quite uh, well maintained. You will find a lot of examples here. For example, if you want to uh, create an issue, I mean, just just a same simple example uh, where maybe you want to know what json needs to be passed you can actually look at this document and uh, you can see that for creating an issue you have to use the method which is which is post and uh, you have to use uh, 
you have to basically pass in some uh, s- s- some details in the body of your JSON, and you can find the details here. So this is of course for issue creation. There is something similar for issue update, and uh, the best thing that you can do is if you want to quickly do it. I mean, if you don't really have plenty of time, you can always you know look at uh, the JSON response of your issue, like do it in the browser, and uh, you can see here uh, how. For example, if you, if you want to update the priority, you can see this uh, priority JSON object, uh, this section of the JSON, and you know how to do it. And the, let us say if you want to set the priority, I think you need to just use ID. That should work. But you will get the idea. If you're talking about uh, maybe something similar where maybe you have, uh, let us say, a cus- cascading select list or something similar. So basically, the idea here is that uh, you have to pass in the JSON valid json and the good thing about this particular uh, text area is that you can also pass in uh, for, for example if you're trying to update a custom field uh, maybe you want to pick up value from a smart value that is coming from somewhere else so this is something that you can do you can uh, use a smart value here that will be replaced by the actual value when the rule is run so going back to the original original question if you look here uh, in the additional field option where, where the user is trying to update something uh, this is not a j- this is not a valid JSON, and that is why the rule is not working. And I thought I'll probably share this with all of you today because uh, this is very common thing that people want to do. And uh, and that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye bye.